life, chilling with my girls, just me and my divas, taking over the world. Hey y'all, hey, it's your girl A, and unfortunately today's video is going to be a voiceover due to mechanical or technical reasons or uh, so forth. Um, did not know my mic was not turned on due to a switch malfunction, so please take my apology and let's just continue this video. Y'all already know I always save the best for last. Y'all know what time it is. This is a Mopper's wig, wig review, y'all, okay? So I get super excited. You may not be able to see it right now because this is a voiceover. But trust me when I tell you, girl, my first wig's got the best of the best of the best. And honey, when they come to you, you ain't got to do much or nothing, but just put some curls in it if you choose to. So this one right here is a silky straight and it does have a beautiful gradient colored ombre effect to it. Super soft. Girl, listen, I'm going to do this wig. We're going to slay like we do all day. You can definitely check the info box for the description, the item, and the specs of this unit. And if you have never purchased a My First Wigs wig, girl, here is your chance to purchase one now. I Trust me when I tell you, these are the best of the best of the wigs. So let's just see how your wig comes from My First Wig. All right, y'all. All right, all right. So we got this wig on. Do you see the lace? This is definitely lacing, a definite melt. Any wig that you get from my first wig is a definite melt. These are the most easiest and natural looking lace front units that you can purchase, especially if you are a beginner. I don't know about any of you guys, but I love a do-nothing wig. Even though I have been doing wigs forever, it seems like, I still appreciate the fact that there's one out there that I don't really have to do too much. And my first wigs will definitely have you covered for newbies to those who love doing wigs all the, all the time. So the first thing is the most important thing is to clean your hairline, especially if you're going to adhere this unit. And for today's video, I'm going to definitely adhere this my first wig wig all around the front perimeter of my head. Normally I don't because you really don't need to. These will mold to your head like nobody's business. But because I'm gonna put this up in like a semi mid ponytail or a bun, I definitely don't want the front to lift up. 
doing this is at your discretion you can do it you don't have to do it but here's my thing when you are going to adhere a unit you need to put on a few layers of hairspray and in between each layer make sure that the layer that you put on becomes tacky prior to spraying on another layer and if you see that's what i'm doing here i'm just feeling for the tackiness and then reapplying some more hairspray the hairspray that i choose to use is by aussie this is their instant freeze and let me tell y'all, I've been using this for like 10, 12, 13 years, probably more. And I love this hairspray. I love it for adhering my unit. And I also do like it for styling and holding the curl. Now, for those of you guys who love the got to be flat um freeze blast or got to be glue sprayed then that's your preference i do use that from time to time when i say time to time maybe like <laughs> probably like 10 times out of a whole entire year only because aussie works really well for me and the more layers you spray on the faster it dries this drying time is super quick sometimes i'll use a blow dryer sometimes i will need to just depending on the lace or depending on how tight i want the hole to hold so for the my first wigs because the lace is thinner this is definitely a melt air lace with tinted lace they have it all for you guys and you can definitely re be reassured that the hairline is going to look natural as possible so when i got this wig there really wasn't much to do but to style it i did not have to bleach it i did not have to pre-pluck it the only thing that i did was just put a little bit of flat ironing to it or basically hot combing to it just to allow the edges the hairline to just lay flatter to my head so all you need to do is cut the lace off and just style your unit with the my first wig unit now because i'm going to do like semi ponytail or mid ponytail i decided i'm gonna just give me some little swoopage going on here girl and i do prefer to use the michael todd or michael and anthony mike michael anthony girl i don't even remember right now but i'll list it down below but it is a holding foam and it works really great for just sculpting your flyaways your baby hairs it will not adhere your unit but it definitely will sculpt and mold your unit Now, do y'all see the beautiful brown chestnut brown in this wig? I love the highlights. I love the ombre effect. I do like this color a lot. They have like a really beautiful chestnut brown to it. A very pretty fall-like, summer-like, spring-like look. Now, y'all probably wondering, girl, why are you recurling? Because, let me tell y'all. Whenever I curl on a mannequin head, it'll come out great for the mannequin. But then when I put it on, it's not the curls that I was going for or they may not go in a certain direction that I was looking for. And so I have to recurl some portion of the unit, which is like, girl, why did I even bother curling it in the first place on the mannequin? But I do try to save time. So I'm just going to recurl a certain portion, not the entire thing, but just a certain amount. Now, as I stated, the Aussie Instant Freeze is great for holding curls. Baby, it will freeze blast your curls instantly, okay? Now, let's remove this melting band and see what we working with, okay? Now, look at that hairline. Look at that melt. You cannot tell me that this does not look natural as possible. Just natural. Look, this wig is definitely fire. Okay. I'm going to just run my fingers through it and kind of fluff it up a little bit. Even though I hairsprayed it, it's still going to stay smooth and sleek at the roots. Okay. Look at like it's grown out of my scalp. Okay. This is what I be talking about when it comes to my first wigs, y'all. And I'm going to just say this. This is supposed to be, I do believe, a 20 inch. Girl, my first wigs know they be giving you more than 20 inches. But I'm not complaining, girl. I love a nice, decent, lengthy wig. Volume. Look at that hairline. Like, look at that. Ooh, child. Yes, baby. Do it like it's your day. Now, this is what I'm talking about. A little behind the ear action. Ooh. 
Now we're going to go ahead and put the melting band back on because I'm going to give myself like a little ponytail. I always suggest if you're going to do a ponytail, any type of updo style, put your melting bands back on, your elastic bands back on because you want to hold the wig down in place. Now this is what I do just to go ahead and give myself a ponytail. I just feel like cutting the elastic band or the elastic open and just twirling around is a lot easier than versus pulling the hair through. And because the ponytail is nice and full and sleek, I'm going to give myself kind of like a little hump in the front, you know, try to make it kind of stylish. But I wasn't really sure how I felt about that. But I do like the fact that the hair is super sleek on the sides. It was easy to post up or put up rather in a ponytail. You could also do yourself a bun if you chose to. I do prefer to wear like a loose ponytail with more silkier textured hair because it just looks a lot fuller versus it being in a bun so for me i do prefer like just a ponytail versus a bun when it comes to like silky texture hair but i decided i'm going to change it up real quick Now I'm gonna go ahead and take that little hump and I'm gonna take the bang and make it into like a little swoop kind of. Not one of the pasted down or sleek down swoops, but something more or less a little bit more relaxed like so. Girl, listen, this hair is perfect for giving yourself a swoop, a bun, a ponytail, or just wearing it out. Let me tell you, my first wigs will have you definitely covered. You can check the info box for all of the information. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Stay diva and divalicious as always, you guys. Check the info box. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thumbs this video up. I love you all and I'll see y'all in the next one.